I don't know your name. Now, can I ask a nice question? Yes, I do you love God? Yes, I do. Are you sure? Yes, I do. So you don't hate anybody? No. I don't hate anybody. You don't have any problem with anybody? No, sir. You don't have any offense in you that makes you feel betrayed? Not one I can think of right now. You, you, you've never been disappointed? I have many times. And do you still hold it? Do you remember the last time you offended God? Does that mean you don't love him? I do love him. Thank you. I'm bringing your mind somewhere. You see, guilt is not to be permanent. In fact, the main reason for guilt is for repentance, not for persecution. So when you find someone who is guilty, then make room for the person to repent, but do not persecute the person. Now, I want you to keep this in your knee, because in subsequent school of worship, I will remind you of this guilt. You see, God did not say for all are guilty, but he said what? For all have sinned. He didn't say for all are guilty because when you say someone is guilty, then the next thing should be judgment. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, anyway, what blame Matessa G. Forgive the voice. What blame Matessa G. family a happy new year a happy new year and a prosperous one because Yehoah Drumona and I thank you all for staying faithful today we are going to have something beautiful so for three days today I was in bed I couldn't sleep so I began to pray and the Lord laid something on my heart that he said son have you noticed this in my church I was like, Lord, what are you talking about? The devil is unemployed. Anytime you misapply scripture, you employ him. <laughs> the devil is unemployed. I will share over to me and share the apostle on Facebook live. <laughs> apostle Abraham Lamte page. Who posts one? Who be near Biashe? Who buy Richie the Uwa page? And so I will be near Biashe. So by more than I join him, I will say he do hundred. By more than I be joining, and then every first day, no, don't don't miss the oil, Lou. Oh, I'm bringing you something pretty soon. Don't miss the oil. I, I'm just laying the foundation. We will explode pretty soon. <laughs> we will explode pretty soon. Now, 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 let's go back to what I was saying. Yes, sir. And what the Lord told me scared me. Charismatic witchcraft. Mm. It has become so common in our churches. People using blood to stand on scripture to perform rituals. For others saved to die. Forgetting the one you are using your blood to perform ritual to kill has been redeemed through a blood. Mm. We'll talk about that later. I just want to whet your appetite on that. And charismatic witchcraft has become such a common commodity in the church. So common, like a wabako Bible, ni wabako ni mojuemo, ni wabata mono no wasole ni moko klo uni le wang boket mole le huwebo. So you 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 come across. Women 
using their own blood to curse others who have been redeemed by the same blood of Jesus Christ. You remember the questions I asked you earlier? Yes, sir. Now, are you sure you have not done any of the questions I asked you to somebody else? Also? You have. So, before you perform a charismatic witchcraft activity, ask if what you are going to do and what caused that action. You've never done that. So many have cursed others not to have children. Forgetting their reasons for cursing them, they've also done same. So your barrenness is not because your mother-in-law is a witch. Check who you cursed and what made you curse the person. If we say he is a just God, what makes you different? I mean, Jamie, Malenik. But we'll go to that another time when I come. This is just the introduction. But today, I'm talking about worship on your location. The power of your location determines the quality of your worship. Mm. The power of your location determines the quality of mm. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh lord help me Osamu, can we go so let's read genesis 3 from the verse 8 genesis chapter 3 uh -huh. verse number eight. now before that i want you to ask our listeners or viewers where are you standing where are you as the person but the right way to ask in god is nengbe oyo do you know that where you are now is a result of your mind? Yes, sir. Your location now is a product of your thoughts. Yes, sir. So yes, where are you? I Jesus. I Genesis chapter 1, hmm. chapter 3, verse number 8. And the Lord heard the voice, and they heard the voice of, of the, the Lord, Lord God. God walking now watch in the garden. And they heard the voice of the Lord God. Walking in the garden in the cool of the day. Continue. Do voices walk? No, sir. <laughs> and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God. But still in the garden. Among the trees of the garden. S still in the garden. Yes, sir. And they thought they were hid. Yes, sir. <laughs> Continue. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where are you? Where are you? And he, Adam, said, I heard your voice in the garden. Now, this, this scripture, Osafo, I want you to listen carefully. And anybody that is listening, please do notes. Now, God planted them in the garden. Told them what to do and what not to do. And then God comes back looking for them where he has always met them. Uh, not finding them there, he called. Where are you? Still in the garden, but they were not found. They could not be found. Still in the garden, but the owner of the garden couldn't find them. God was not talking about geographical location. He was talking about mental location. 
Jina Bia said, Baby, you need to be a Jina name, baby, you want Jenny. The very moment they took the apple, their mind changed their location. A bra omo a D, a Biabano, a more dream as a sound. So, what is the apple? This is how I want to begin the year with you. When you are a young Kofano, Sanka want you be an kind say, That is the apple. Not the fruit, but what they had. Everybody is cautious about everybody now in Ghana. Yes, oh, should I say this? Shall I say it? Even the chair you are sitting on, you are afraid. The next person to come sit on is afraid. Where from this fear? Because we are hearing. This year, be like the wind, which is the spirit of God. Oh. What is going on within me? I can say it over. When if you are like the wind, do you know sometimes we mess the air, but he still blows for us to breathe. You want to destroy me? Thank you. You want to break me? Thank you. In the midst of that, you still cannot stop the wind from going where it wants to go. Things we do to pollute the air, still, it reaches its destination. If we will be like the wind, we will not carry things. Where, where are you, by the way? Where are you? You changed because you heard. This year, discipline your ears. Live by choice of what you allow into your ears. I said it last year and I'm repeating. Ghana, we are 85% emotional. And only 15% rational. Ghanaians are 85% emotional. And you'll be a samba. No, you didn't become your best sane panel. Actually, you're who's in your tear. No, you're sane panel. You're inside your gym, ma. And my CSU, because it is just 15%. Here, Adam and the wife were so emotional, not rational. Can I tell you something? This year, do your best. Change your location by first changing your thoughts. God saw darkness, but he refused to see the darkness where he was. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, what you accept is what you live with and what you live in. Chake more more. When you call somebody evil, that is who the person will become unto you. Where are you? If Joseph can be in prison and still be thinking like a prime minister, so he was caring about people, definitely the prison cannot contain him. Yes, oh, can I preach now? Preach, sir. You can only change your location when you change your mind. Yes, sir. Sister, why do why? I was talking to a young lady this morning and I told her, you can get a good woman out of a bad man, but you can never get a good man out of a bad woman. <laughs> Don't ask me to break it down. <laughs> what was taken out of the woman? Tell me, after creation. Nothing. Thank you. Despite the weakness of Adam, God still could find Eve in him. I think we have to go back to Bible. We should not be anxious to learn how to be eloquent in preaching. But we ourselves must first understand the Bible before we take it out to preach. So for, we are talking, we are not preaching. So we are not reaching. Mm. When you see preach, take the P out. And what do you have there? Preach. Thank you. So the P stands for power. So preaching means the power to reach. Mm. The power to reach. Where are you? Where is the church today? What are we pumping into the ears of our members? 
because you can only change a person by what the person hears from you are we are we raising people to take responsibility in fact next time next monday when i come i'm going to talk to you about king makers and nation wreckers mm. i'm giving you an assignment out of Kasu Monday, no mark baleka bayon. E pope no lange Biblia mi. Si e nyeme ne beshiba e tumunyo me Biblia. Until Solomon became a king, si e nyeme ne nge Biblia mi ke e beshiba e tumunyo. Not even once. From the time she came to tell David that she was pregnant, we never heard her speak again. You know why? She was busy raising a king, not a son. If women will begin to raise kings, the nation will have peace. Tell me if Solomon ever hated anybody, except those who his father told him to. And don't you think Bathsheba should have raised him to hate everybody because he was hated with a passion in the palace that David himself had to protect them. Nathan told Bathsheba, if your son does not become the king, remember, you and your son will be beheaded. That is the level of hatred. Yet, Bathsheba never raised Solomon to hate. And God will never add up to what you don't have. So Bathsheba was busy raising a king. Whilst, Badam, you are busy raising a son. Sons, when they are raised, are inward looking. But when kings are raised, they are outward looking. So we have king makers and nation wreckers. Madam, what are you raising? Who are you raising? Are you raising a king or a son? So where are you? When you raise a king, they think national. So the thought of a person will let you know his or her location. Hey, Charlie. Me, if I become president, you will see the show I will make. That is enough to let you know how far they will go. Me, if I become the chief executive, you wait, let me get the visa. So such a person, you should know that there is nothing in him or her that can worship God properly. It is, it is this time, I'm not talking about the heart. I'm talking about the brain. Before you speak, process. Before you open your vocal cavity, process what is in your cabeza. That's your head. Don't talk before you think. When you feel it in your heart, process it with your brain and speak it with your mouth. But don't speak with your mouth before. You can't run after spoken word. Can we be rational small? Where are you? In your mind, you are living in a single room. And somebody is walking on the street without even a kiosk to sleep in. But the person has a mansion mentality. The one with the mansion mentality will definitely live in a mansion. And the one with the kiosk mentality will still be living in the kiosk. Where are you? If Adam has said, I am here, he will still be in the garden. But he said, I hid myself. How can you hide from your own possession? The Bible says that God planted them in the garden. So God has already given you there. So the very moment the man gave the place up, God has no right to keep it there. Then get out. You took yourself out. So get out. Can you change your mind this afternoon? I came universal. Can you change your mind? Look, look at jo Joseph. They put him in a pit. He didn't have a pit mentality. So they had to take him out. <laughs> your escape is a product of your mindset. Can I repeat? Yes, sir. Your escape is a product of your mindset. In the pit, Joseph didn't see himself in the pit. It was the same brothers who are saying, eh, eh, let us not kill him so his blood will not be on our hands. And blah, blah, blah. You know why? The mind is not in the pit. The guy had a dream and the mind is on the dream. So nothing could change the mindset. Don't say what you don't think. And you're not allowed to do it. 
a blue wo 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 no be no phone. Before you open your mouth that you want to talk, check what is in your mind. When you are talking to me within 30 minutes, I'll know who you are and what you're thinking. So they had to take him out of the pit. And the dream he had was international. And the guy was having an international mentality. So it was his thought that caused them to sell him to the Ishmaelites. Let me tell you something. What you have in your mind will determine how people will push you. They are not pushing you into destruction. They are discomforting you so you pursue what you have in your mind. Ah. <laughs> and then Potiphar bought him. But Potiphar has somebody above him. So the dream has not yet been fulfilled. The thought has not yet been materialized. And Joseph, even in Potiphar's house, was living like boss. Yes, oh, you are not getting it. <laughs> that is why his wife saw him more as the in charge than the husband. Next week, I'll talk about the domestic mistakes in pursuance of your vision. As of a Bible, I said, I can have one new one die. I can have one new one ban. I can have one new one We were giving the Bible, we were saved not to beg but to lend. How can you lend if you don't have a winning mentality? If you don't have a successful mentality? If your mindset is myopic and you're only thinking about hand to mouth? This is worship. Because you can't be a failing worshiper. Worshippers don't fail. Go and check how David decorated his worshipers. Atalene Bawu and Unu Amebawu they were wearing designer clothing to worship God, provided by David. Worshippers must be productive. And they must be proactive. That's not me. 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 That's Work. Where is your mind now? Are you thinking of working and how you will work the work to reach your dream? Or you are thinking of 419? You are thinking of cheating. You are thinking of robbing. Really? God is asking this afternoon. Where are you? In Potiphar's house, there was a trap to crush him. So he wouldn't get it. But it worked in his favor. You know why? Because even then, the mind, being in prison, does not mean you have been in prison. Because prison is when your mind is captured. Not when your freedom is restricted. Not when your <coughs> restriction to movement is not imprisonment. But when your mind, that's why Bob Marley said, emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can free our mind. Have no fear for atomic energy. Because a captured mind is more deadly than atomic energy. My darling, change your thinking faculty today. Do an overhaul. Begin to love what you are doing. Cherish it. Celebrate it. Laugh whilst you are doing it. Let your mind be focused on it. Whatever you think of determines your actions and your attitude. Now the guy was put in prison. I'm summarizing Genesis 30, Genesis 31, Genesis 32, and 33. You'll find out this story that Jamie Makani Mambu and Nihau. <laughs> and in, in prison, the guy was still behaving. He said, I saw other sheep bow, and mine was standing. So everybody around him, he saw the person as a subject in his kingdom. So that person needs his attention. So Joseph's mentality made him a servant, not a chopper. Mm. Hey, Maka. <laughs> a dream has come. Hmm. Am I safe? Papa, you are safe. <laughs> Joseph's mentality made him safe. So when he came to the prison, he asked, why are your faces cast down? Wow. What a mindset. So God knew where Joseph was, so he didn't worry. Because when, when you know where you are, 
and you know that is where God planted you, you give God rest. Because you will sail through life beautifully, automatically. You can imagine if Adam had remained in the garden. Oh, like lions will still remain like massaging mattress. Daniel was in the lion's den, but his mind was in God's presence. So the lions couldn't do him any help. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego were in the oven heated seven times, but their minds were in Greenland. Mm. So, <laughs> listen to me. If you will change your mind, you will change your situation. Where are you? Where are you? You can be selling tomatoes with the mind of a millionaire and you will become a millionaire. Joseph was a prisoner, started as a slave, but he still had the mindset of a prime minister. And watch it, God made sure that because the guy is still thinking what I put in his mind, that's why the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. I beg you this afternoon. Yes, you were expecting me to worship, but a sick person cannot give God the right to worship. You need to be healthy. And I believe this message is healing you. So when you come before God, you have a positive mindset. And dream bonim fawunyahu. A hona ubewi. We dream boni a uye bonimu. We dream a woody a uye woodimu. No wake a shafel or draw for Ya be animoku enye ese. Start thinking positive. One thing about me, Yamba, if you if, if if you get close to me, you discover. I don't think evil about people. You want to think evil about me. You want to destroy me. Thank you. You will have people to follow you. No problem. That is what you have in your mind to destroy me. What I have in my mind is for you to be okay. And when okay mind comes your way, it will not find an okay magnet. Yes. So it will come back to me. Mm. And when your evil comes to me, he says, though the enemy will come like a flood. So as for the coming, it will come. He said, they shall gather together, but it shall not. So they will gather. God will not stop their gathering, but it will not be of him. They shall take counsel and it shall come to naught. You can't stop them from taking the counsel, but don't let their counsel take over your thoughts. Yes, there is this song, I don't know, is it Kwame Yuji or Kidi or Usa? Nana Nya Meka, Nana Meka, Nana Meka, I don't fear, I don't fear. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't know, you don't Because we are preaching competitive messages. And in every competition, you want somebody to fall, so you win. Yes. Can we preach completive messages so that we will desire to complete and not to compete? And if you have the thoughts of completion, you know that you will need your neighbor to get there. The Lord bless you. Mm. So brief, but so deep. Cutting so deep. <laughs> Where are you? Stop yeah. thinking, say, Miti La Paz. Miti Dodoa. And you don't have a vision. We're talking about your your location in your mind. Yes. Junior yeah. Jennifer. Young Kupo, Miss House, the whole way. Jemmo Jemmo Papa. The Jemmo Femmo now, you're more to a babble. How do you say this one in three? And you'll be a no assem now, bit. Daniel Babble to a dear Jabio Yak and many who walk Bomono come, you know. Answer now, bit him, Puno, because I said, You ain't in a nipper way, air cat nipper way. And ye tow me, Papa, allow a tow me for me, and now Pemmy Bonnet. Daniel Bolo.